What's going on YouTube? Paul Paul Piper here and today is a Saturday and I took a trip up to one of my favorite tobacco shops up in uh, the Grand Rapids area uh, Indian River Tobacco Traders and uh, I wanted to share with you some of the great tobaccos uh, that I was able to pick up and just share a little bit about my experience um, and then discuss the importance of actually supporting your brick and mortar stores and having good conversation in person the virtual world is great too but having um, good in-person conversations with people of like mine so I uh, loaded up my pipe here and it's just a nice straight this one is a Shalom uh, made in Israel smooth billiard and uh, I actually have it loaded up with a tobacco that I picked up today I'm gonna do a review on this soon it is manufactured by Daughters and Ryan and it's VIP pipe tobacco it's a Virginian Perique blend um, I smoked it on the way home I live about an hour away from Grand Rapids and I smoked it in my truck and man it is good it is a good tobacco so if you're at home and you got a pipe nearby load it up and join me here That stuff's just good. I can't wait to do my review on it. But what else did I pick up? Well, I picked up some classic, just awesome tins. We have the Hearth and Home Cerberus. So we'll be doing a review on this another one of my beloved Dunhill mixtures Dunhill Elizabethan mixture picked up a fresh tin of that we have another great blend made by Russ Olette Hearth and Home White Knight we'll be doing a review on that and like I said we did get the uh, Donners and Ryan VIP uh, Virginia Perique blend there. We've got good blend from Cornell and Dill, Billy Bud. So I'm excited about doing a review on that. And then we've got another made by Mark Ryan of Daughters and Ryan, Raccoon's Delight. So kind of a neat tin art there. So I'm excited to do a review on that one. But it was just a great day, you know, nice and sunny. It's a little bit chilly today here in uh, southern Michigan. You know, I thought about going out to my property and spending some time out there, and it would have been a good day for that too, but tomorrow's supposed to be a little warmer, so I figure that I'll spend the day out there tomorrow. You know, I went up to the shop and, you know, they, they had a, a steady stream of foot traffic. And, uh, you know, as soon as I walk in, I've gone to this store before and, I mean, they're true tobacconists. They're not a discount tobacco store. Even though I do think that they sell quite a bit of roll your own and and that sort of thing for people who primarily enjoy, you know, tobacco and cigarette form. But I walked in and started perusing the uh, pipe tobacco and they have a whole big case full of pipe tobacco tins. 
and started looking at those and then, you know, quickly I was greeted by one of the store employees and he came over and, you know, was just very helpful, very friendly. He's very knowledgeable. The whole staff is very knowledgeable. So we discussed all kind of different pipe tobacco blends and leaf and uh, manufacturing, you know, process and I mean, just very, very knowledgeable folks. And that's something that, you know, you miss out on if you don't go to and patronize your, your local tobacconist. You miss out on that, um, that knowledge being passed down to you. You know, you can read reviews and YouTube videos and go online and, and any number of sources um, to educate yourself and to get a good sense of things, but I don't know. It's just something that I prefer uh, whenever I can, shopping, in person, you know, um, you know, just like clothing and things like that. Everybody's buying everything online. And if that's the way you shop, then more power to you. But with me, you know, I want to try things on, make sure that it looks good. Um, you know, especially how they cut a lot of clothes and things, they're not consistent. You know, a 36, 30 pair of pants is not consistent. Um, sometimes they're cut long or, you know, whatever. Um, so there's just a practical reason for that. But it's the same thing with anything else. I mean, going to your local brick-and-mortar tobacco shop or your tobacconist, um, you know, you might try something, have a discussion over it, about it. Um, there's just a many, many reasons. And then plus you're helping to contribute uh, to a business that's going to be helping your community rather than having those tax dollars and stuff um, and profits distributed to somebody that's not in your backyard. So, you know, all the more reason to, to try to patronize um, local businesses and in particular your local tobacconist whenever possible. But another thing that, that I did while I was up there is uh, I joined the Furniture City Pipe Society. So they meet once a month, and it's a bunch of uh, pipe enthusiasts who get together and, and smoke and discuss tobacco and pipes. And I'm looking forward to attending my first meeting. I got a nice little button here with their emblem, Furniture City Pipe Society. You got the Grand Rapids, Michigan um, skyline in the background. So that's pretty cool. And uh, what I'm really excited about, I got this nice shirt. And look at this patch. Look at this, you know, this awesome patch. Very high quality. Same Furniture City Pipe Society emblem on it. And the gentleman, um, at Indian River Tobacco Traders said that one of their customers and members of the club actually designed that um, emblem and I believe the patch as well. So, got a lot of talented people um, in this hobby, creative people, just like all the different people that are um, carving their own pipes and, and that sort of thing. The artisans and uh, craftsmen and women, you know, it's 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 pretty remarkable, so um, that's another reason why you should, you know, patronize those folks and, um, you know, get get involved in the hobby a little bit more than maybe just doing everything over the internet. You want to help those people too. Not only are you going to get probably a little bit better deal online, but you know. Some of those big retailers, too, do a lot of good. 
in the industry. So, but anyway, that's just a little um, bit about what happened today and my thoughts on, you know, shopping on Main Street, brick and mortar, small businesses, in-person uh, transactions, that sort of thing. Um, I did pick up some cigars too. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a review on this. Becoming a, by becoming a member of the Furniture City Pipe Society, I got uh, a sample of their uh, most recent winner for the for the club. Um, and this is Double Fudge Brownie. And it was described to me as uh, very minimal or no aromatic tobacco, even though it has that name. So it smells great. I'm looking forward to doing a review on this, as I uh, told them that I would. And then I picked up some cigars. Come on now. The bag ripped. Come on, get open. Well, let's try it this way. Open it like a bag of chips. Man, I'm gonna end up tearing the hell out of this thing. Oh well. Anyway, we've got a variety of uh, unique cigars in here. An 1881 Perique Bold. So. Uh, I'll do a review on these two. That one was described to me as containing 30% Perique, so it should be nice and spicy. And then we've got some, uh, uh, let's see, we have a Durango. This is a pipe tobacco English porterhouse, um, but some pretty good sticks there. So we'll do reviews on those and, and see how those are. But um, all in all, a good day. And uh, hopefully you'll take some time soon to get out to your local tobacconist. And if you're in the Grand Rapids area, I highly recommend stopping by Indian River Tobacco Traders. I do believe they have two shops in West Michigan. Great people, very knowledgeable, um, just an awesome experience. I, I, th I think you'll really enjoy it. So stop in. Um, you know, consider if you're in the area joining the uh, Furniture City Pipe Society. I haven't attended any meetings or anything yet, but, you know, heck, you get 10% off at the store if you're a member. And you get this awesome shirt, great patch, and, uh, you know, if you're fortunate enough to be able to attend the meetings, then, you know, there's huge value in that. So, until next time, folks, um, you know, check out my other videos, um, you know, Add some comments, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and to those of you who have, I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you next time. It's been Paul Paul Piper. Take care.